morning guys welcome back to another video of mine this video is really exciting because i'm going to be doing a yard tour today for you all um i keep echo at a livery yard about 25 minutes from my house echo is on full livery because i go to university so i just don't have the time to be kind of coming back having him on diy i can be away for like a couple weeks at a time with university um so it's really like the only feasible option and the only way I was able to keep Echo while I was at university was to have him on full livery. Um, we've been at the yard for like four years now, I want to say four years. I think we moved in 2017, November 2017, so yeah, it's been about four years now. There's quite a lot of competitions and trainings and stuff going on. There's brilliant hacking. Everyone there is just absolutely lovely. Um, so I'm really excited to show you guys. It's a pretty wet and windy day today, so not the best day to kind of show off the yard, but um, it's just, it's just, it's so lovely. And like, I'm sure it's gonna look great even if the weather's not the best. Um, but I'm going up today and I'm going to give Echo a little hack and he's getting the physio as well later on. And um, yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys. So I'm just gonna head up there now and see you guys when we get there. So I've just arrived at the yard. I'm about to drive up the driveway, which I can show you guys. So this is the driveway here. And then up there, that's where the yard is. This is the first thing you'll see when you enter the yard and on the left is a block of stables called the hay shed and on the right is the main barn which is where I keep Echo. So this is the view from the yard the other way. So there's the hay shed um, where all the hay is kept. There's one of the barns that's kind of like an American style barn. Um, I don't keep Echo in that barn. Echo stays in this one and that's a little wash bay there but if we kind of move around this sort of alleyway. I hope you can hear me because it is a windy. So it's quite a compact yard. I hope you can hear me. And um, on my right here is the main building. That's where Echo stays. And that is in the indoor arena. And then we are about to come to the outdoor arena here. This is our beautiful, massive, massive outdoor arena. So we've had a dressage competition actually a couple days ago or yesterday. So we have our dressage arena set out, which is just amazing to have so many like fun things on. Um, it's a 60 by 40 arena, I want to say. So yeah, it's extremely big and it's just, it's perfect. It, um, it's such a good arena. It never floods, it never gets frozen or anything in winter. It's floodlit. There's the little judges box where we have competitions. to have on the yard. It's so good to warm horses up, cool them down, just exercise them if you can get up. Um, so here is the horse walker. Echo's been in it quite a few times. It's a bit wet at the minute, um, but it's so, so useful. And honestly, it's like one of like, my favorite things about this yard, um, by the indoor arena, <laughs> is having this lovely walker here. So just next to the horse walker, we have our beautiful, indoor arena so i'm currently in our indoor arena it has mirrors along the edges i'd say it's about uh 25 by 40. it's a bit smaller but it is just life-saving in the winter honestly like to be able to come up on days when it's like raining windy tack up indoors just walk 20 meters to here and ride in the indoor arena is just like completely unbeatable you hardly get wet at all like 
but it's just one of the most valuable things I think any yard has. Um, and obviously it's very bright, it's big. We don't normally jump in here, but you can jump in here if you want to. Um, there's poles and stuff. And this is where the warm up for any show jumping competitions will be. Um, but normally you just jump in the outdoor arena anyway, because it's massive and that's where all the jumps are kept. But absolutely love the indoor arena so much. <laughs> So all our arenas get harrowed and sprayed every day as well. Um, so the indoor arena mostly gets sprayed, the outdoor not so much, because we live in Scotland, we have enough rain. <laughs> um, so it'll get, this will get sprayed every day so it's not dusty and it gets harrowed every single day as well. So it's nice and even for the horses. So stepping out of the indoor arena, we have a lovely round pen over there, which is kind of, it's mostly used for horses on box rest just to get them out a wee bit and then we have down through this gate all the fields so we can have um, individual turnout or group turnout here um, echoes on individual turnout he's obviously still with lots of other horses um, kind of on all sides of him so you can see other horses and they're just over the fence but it definitely makes him a lot calmer and actually able to relax a bit more and stuff when he's out in the field which is so so good that they can accommodate that so just walking down to the field now there's fields on the other side of that hedge and then fields to my left as well and um, we're just gonna go get echo in right now and take him on a little hack and i can take you guys on the hack with me to show you the hacking routes around here um it's really good because we have an old railway line that runs just along that tree line and it goes for like miles I've never reached the bottom of it so you can kind of trot along the whole thing we've got some nice canter tracks that run off it as well all off road so this is Echo's Weave Field or is it where is he oh there he is Echo <laughs> couldn't find him So I've got Echo's head collar, it's just left at the gate. A little munchkin, where is he? Walking over. Hello, mister. Hello, mister. Oh, it's a grandpa face for. So fluffy now because of winter. So yeah, this is Echo's field. Um, he has an automatic drinker just there, which uh, gets cleaned and just refills automatically when it gets low. Um, but yeah, you like your field. So I'm just walking Echo back up to the yard now. So we have this lovely track, which is so nice in winter because it's quite rocky, so it doesn't get deep or anything. So you're able to access the fields pretty easily. On the other side of the yard, there's more fields. Um, those are the summer fields, which aren't being used just now. But I can kind of point them out to you um, when I get back up to the yard. So we're just heading back up now and I'll get Echo all tacked up, show you where his tack is and his stable. He's got a lovely big, big stable. So this is actually coming back up from the fields. It's a round pen. That's the indoor arena. That's where Echo's stable is. The other stables block the hay shed and the horse walker. And then these are the other fields I was talking about. It runs all the way down there, um, so it's quite far to walk. So I shall not be showing you those, but those are our summer fields. This is our wee wash bay, so it's got tie-ups and a hose there. So this is our tack room. We've got some sticks there, and then this is where I keep Echo's tack. That's his dressage saddle, and that's where I keep his jump saddle. And that's his grooming kit, some sweets, and then this is his bridle. I've taken his um, tack down, so it's not there just now. But um, up here is where I keep Echo's box with all his rugs. So if we go up here, you can kind of have an overview of the stables. And then this is where I keep Echo's rugs. And you can see the stable block from up here. So pretty. This is my Freddy Fox 
Oaks rug. Really, and it just keeps him warm. And actually, that's my initials. So, that's going for a hike. I hope you can hear me. It's quite windy. Uh, that's it. All the trailers and lorries are kept, and we actually have a dog walking park called Unleashed. That's just behind the hedge there. But so we're going to be walking back down the yard go on our hack and we'll go on to the railway track so I can show you guys that that's probably our most common hacking route um, so this is us walking past the arena again um, just there is where we keep all the jumps for competitions or just for training So that's me just walking past the kitchen that like you can eat and have a coffee in. That's where I tied Echo up. This is just like a little overview of what you can see when you first go into the barn. And this is the kitchen. So it's just got a wee table and a sink. So we also have a second tack room that you can just see through those doors there as well. Boy, you go to bed. So this is Echo's gorgeous big stable here. So that's his indoor rug. So we're just waiting for the physio to come for Echo. That's Echo's hay bar, which just gets full to the brim, obviously. And this is his huge, huge stable. That's his automatic water drinker. Are you peeing? Oh, Echo. <laughs> look how shiny you look. You actually look quite good considering you've not been doing much, hey? Um, so he's even got a wee tie up in his stable and he's got this, because it's a corner stable, he's got this like corridor in so he has like one of the biggest stables on the whole yard. Um, but yeah and he's on straw and they get lovely they get literally the thickest beds here like this doesn't even like show it on the camera and they all have like massive banking i've actually worked at this yard over summer so i can tell you now that amount of straw that gets used in these beds is insane like they are so thick and they are so so nice for them um but yeah echo absolutely loves it here it gives him a chance to chill out in the evening and um yeah He's a very good boy, aren't you? So the sun's finally come out. And you can see just how beautiful it is here. It is just such a gorgeous yard. That's Echo just back in this show now. See you later. Good boy. So that's 
Echo Disney's stood behind me and he's going to get brought in at about 2.30 slash 3 by the workers and then he gets his dinner at about 3.34ish um, and that's kind of his like daytime routine so he'll then go out tomorrow at 7 o'clock and then get his um, stables mucked out and everything and when he gets brought in he gets his hooves picked out and his rugs changed and everything so it's just such a nice system and such a good routine for him to be in. Echo had the physio as well and I've just popped him back out after the physio and um, it was just for a checkup and everything's fine, everything's um, as it should be. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I'm thinking of doing like a riding story, like my riding story video um if anyone would be interested in that please let me know and then obviously when i'm back over christmas we'll be out and doing more competitions which i'll vlog for you guys but please like like and subscribe um i'll see you guys in the next one thanks so much for watching